millions of people enjoy spending time at the beach each year. For many, it means engaging in water-related activities such as swimming. In most circumstances, these beachgoers leave with nothing more than great memories. However, as the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency reports, swimming at beaches with pollution in the water or in the sand can make you ill. Some of the sources of this pollution listed by the EPA include combined sewer overflows, sanitary sewer overflows, stormwater, trash and litter, fertilizers, pesticides, animal feed operations, and boat discharges. The agency also states that children, the elderly, and people with weakened immune systems are the most likely populations to develop illnesses or infections after coming into contact with polluted water, usually while swimming. A swimmer can be exposed to waterborne pathogens when they swallow the water, but for some, getting an infection can happen by simply getting polluted water on their skin, in their eyes, or in an open wound that is exposed to polluted water. Fortunately, while swimming-related illnesses are unpleasant, they are usually not very serious. The EPA reports that the most common illness associated with swimming in water polluted by sewage is gastroenteritis. It occurs in a variety of forms that can have one or more of the following symptoms. Nausea, vomiting, stomach ache, diarrhea, headache, or fever. Other minor illnesses associated with swimming include ear, eye, nose, and throat infections, as well as rashes. In highly polluted water, swimmers may occasionally be exposed to more serious diseases. While not all of these are associated with beaches, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention lists the top 10 causes of recreational water illnesses ordered here from highest to lowest frequency. These are just a few things to know about beach-related and recreational water illnesses, pollution, and pathogens that could be encountered at the beach or in other waters. To learn more about this or other aquatic, environmental, health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.